Hi guys, Cy from Sinai Software. Uh, today this video is going to be on downloading and installing Sinai Software. So our downloads are of course underneath the download, Sinai products. There's three types of downloads here. So the majority of you are going to be using the standard workstation download. This is for anybody that's just using Macs for themselves. Uh, we have a render farm uh, installer. This is what you would install on your large render farms. And this is a, a different installer where the actual login dialog will not pop up. And then the last one we have, which is a proxy server. So if you work for like a AAA games company where you have stringent firewalls, uh, this is the actual installer that you would install for uh, your users to get out through your firewalls. So with that said, um, simply to download the newest one, you wanna look for the newest release, uh, click on the download button here and that'll download. And then you're gonna unzip the file and just simply click on the installer. And then you'll get this little window that pops up. So there's not a lot of uh, stuff you have to do except for accept the agreement uh, it'll look at what Macs you have installed and you simply just install this. Um, not much to it, pretty much done. Okay, so next you're gonna open up 3D Studio Max. When 3D Studio Max opens up, it might already open your Decipher window. If it doesn't, simply just go down and select Decipher and this will give you our login tool. So your username, and your password are exactly the same as the ones that you use on our website. Uh, if you do happen to use this and then transfer to a different computer, you might get a message here that says incorrect Mac ID. Uh, you'll need to go back to the website and underneath your users, license and users, you'll see this reset Mac ID button. Simply press this and if I press that, it's gonna reset my Mac ID, which actually I wasn't using one here. And then you'll be able to use it on a different computer. Uh, so if you're trying to share a license with somebody, uh, it will not let you. Uh, you'll, one of the users will get incorrect Mac ID. So um, let's just bring back Max for a second and we'll just sort of talk about just the last thing once you've got this installed. Uh, if you would like, you can install the toolbar and this will give you a little toolbar that you can simply dock up here for a lot of our products. One thing to remember is when you uninstall our software, it's not gonna uninstall the toolbar. And the reason is because it's just the way Max does toolbars. Uh, it's very difficult to go through and do it in our code, but I'm gonna walk you through it. So here's your toolbar. You're gonna simply just right click and say customize. And it'll take a second. Max is a little slow on this window. There we go. You're gonna to select toolbars up here, go down, find the Cyanide toolbar, and hit delete. And that'll remove your toolbar. Now, there's a couple of people that had problems with different language packs on installing our toolbars. Um, it's, I don't recommend that you use it um, if you're using different language packs, but um, it is a good quick uh, way to uh, launch our products. But most everything that we have can be found in this drop down menu here. So simple as that. Um, basically, if you're in here and you log in and you get, you know, wrong username and password, there's not a problem with disconnecting using the software or the username and login that we have on the site. You've just typed it wrong or copied and pasted it wrong. Uh, we get a lot of support tickets saying, I can't log in with my username and password. It tells me it's the wrong one. Well, obviously you've logged into the so to the website to submit that support ticket. So whatever username and password you're using on that website is the exact same as this. So thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. See ya.